do you feel like god has left you on red this is a very vulnerable and honest place if you have been praying for something tirelessly or if you have ever prayed for something and just didn't see god answer this video is for you this is a very sensitive topic because it is truly hurtful when you have been praying for something specific over and over and over again and you just hear nothing you get no feedback from god i don't think i could talk about this topic truly without talking about the struggle and emotional pain we feel when god is silent and we don't always get a direct answer from god but sometimes we just feel so led to do something or we see a door open but when god is silent not only do we not see our prayers getting answered but we also don't feel anything like that sense of direction hope or peace you don't sense that god is telling you to do anything you are not sensing that he's trying to tell you anything it's just nothing blank like he left you on red it is hurtful and discouraging and has to be one of the worst feelings when trying to have that relationship with god because it's like you are pouring your heart out to him and it just feels like your cries are falling on deaf ears this is not only a hurtful place to be but a confusing place to be it's like okay i believe in god i believe i am a child of god so if i'm his child why is it that it feels like when i need him the most he is nowhere to be found you're just left wondering can't god see i'm hurting can't god see i'm in need it's confusing and it's hard not to feel abandoned in these moments it's natural to wonder what's happening what's going on where is god i want to let you know you are not alone i have felt that way at different points in my relationship with god even recently and the bible shares stories of other people who have been in a similar place here's the thing it's important to acknowledge your emotions don't push them away i will never be of the opinion to try to be perfect with god bring your hurt confusion even anger to him god could handle your emotions in fact he encourages you to share them with him the bible tells us to cast your cares on him because he cares for you acknowledge your emotions a hundred percent but realize god is never absent he is a ever present help in times of trouble he hears your cry psalms gives mention to god collecting our tears in a bottle god knows each and every one of his children intimately and every tear we cry has meaning to him this whole topic has really got me thinking about my cleaning technique let me explain i don't have a specific story because this has happened to me multiple times with different people i love doing things for others so if i'm visiting family i may cook for them or even clean now something that hurt my feelings a bit when i was younger was cleaning for my mom or my grandparents i'll tell you about my grandparents house see i had it in my heart to clean so i wait up and wait for my grandparents to head out for the day maybe i'll make them something to eat and right when they leave i get to work starting from the top down because you know dust settles i'm getting a ladder dusting any cobwebs i see removing that thick film of dust from the ceiling fan cleaning dirt off the windows and blinds dusting all surfaces even washing the walls because they hold odor now i get to the room that tends to get the most neglected the bathroom scrub the tub scrub the toilet clean behind the toilet wipe down surfaces the day is almost over at this point so i have to hit the floors sweep vacuum scrub some things by hand remove stains from carpet the couch pillows and at this point i am totally exhausted i mean after all i cleaned all day 
I'm looking forward to seeing my grandparents walk through the door, smelling the aroma of clean, fresh air with a big smile on their face, only for them to walk in and ask me, what'd you do today? Nothing? On the surface, they see the pillows and plants are in the exact same spot. The hand towel where they last left it. Paperwork and remotes are completely untouched. Everything looks exactly the same. They don't see that stain is removed from the carpet. They don't see I clean behind the toilet. They don't recognize all the work I did. As I said, this happened to me multiple times with different people and the Holy Spirit reminded me of this because I'm afraid we could be a lot like that with God. He is doing so much that we don't see. You may have woken up in the same exact situation, but as someone who lives a prayerful lifestyle, there are some things in my life that I have waited years for, but I'm going to tell you right now, waiting on God is never wasted time. God is working behind the scenes without us always noticing. What'd you do today? Nothing? There is never a moment God is doing nothing. God does not sleep, nor does he slumber. God is working in the silence, like how my family didn't notice my cleaning because I was cleaning things that may not have been so obvious, and maybe even things they didn't care about. Similarly, you may not see the changes you want to see or the changes you care about, but he is trying to change things he knows really matters and maybe things that you can't see. One hard thing to grapple with is God may not have changed your situation, but God is changing you. Nothing may have happened on the outside yet, but there is something happening on the inside. Although your situation may not change immediately, God is changing you. He is developing your character, wisdom, maturity, strength, long-suffering, and I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you would not develop those things if you had your prayer request answered the first time you asked. This moment is a test of your relationship and I want to tell you why. You will find yourself in either two places or two outcomes. His silence or perceived distance will either cause you great distress or you will just move on. This could apply with pretty much anything, but I'll give an example like a job or some type of opportunity. You could be praying to God asking for direction or asking God to open up a particular door. And when he is silent or you're just not sure what to do, it could be a really big decision. It could involve moving. It could involve family members. It's involving your finances. When he's silent and you don't hear from him, does it cause you distress like, God, what's going on? I want to hear from you. I don't want to make a decision without you. I don't want to just choose my own way. Like, God, tell me what's best. Your opinion matters to me most. Your way is better than my way. Or do you say something like, okay, God, I guess you really don't care. I guess you don't care if I'm broke. I guess you just don't care about me or my family or my future. So honestly, I'm just gonna take the job I think is best or just move on. Like, Please understand, God never wants us to be worried or in distress. He will never be silent in order to cause us distress. God's will is not for us to live in fear or confusion. His plan is for our peace, growth, and trust in Him, even when we don't understand what's happening. These moments of silence always reveal the condition of our hearts. Are we able to easily push God aside when He doesn't seem as active? Or does not hearing from Him shake everything? It all comes down to where our hearts lie. You know in your heart when you are trusting in God. You know in your heart when you threw in the towel with God. Like, I don't want to trust God again. He's just going to disappoint me. So how are you handling this silent season? God is watching closely during this time. Silence might feel like you're being hidden, but God is preparing 
you for what's to come. Silence is not a sign that God is not there. It's not a sign that he doesn't care. It means he is watching you closer than ever before because what we have to realize is every season, God is preparing us for the next one and he wants to prepare you for what's to come. Listen, you don't have to write me in the comments and tell everyone your deepest, darkest secrets, but be honest with yourself. What has this silent season revealed to you about the way you view God? What has this silent season revealed to you about your heart? Have you gotten angry with God even to the point of threatening God? Like, I've been waiting for a long time for this. I'm trying to do things right. But if you don't answer soon, I'm going to have to take things into my own hands because I cannot wait any longer. Are you moving away from God or growing closer in faith? Only you and God knows what this silent season has brought out of you. Since you have watched this video up until this point, I believe you are probably distressed with not hearing from the one that you want to hear from the most. So here are three things you could do when God is silent, you feel he's left you on red. God is usually silent to get our attention. Number one, eliminate sin. Make sure nothing is blocking your connection with God. If you know you are actively choosing to live a lifestyle that is sinful in God's eyes, eliminate that. There is only one thing in scripture that explains it separates us from God and that is sin. Now we all sin and probably sin on a regular basis but that is totally different than choosing to live a lifestyle of sin another thing you could do is ask why maybe he will tell you go back and do the last thing i told you maybe whatever you're asking for god has already told you no and you're kind of trying to change his mind maybe god will reveal to you something that you're doing that is sinful in his eyes and that goes back to point number one you could fast fasting is an excellent way to hear from god because you are turning down the voice of everything else around you everything in the outside world you're really putting yourself in a position to hear from god because you're silencing your flesh like our natural body by not eating and it's going to naturally tune you in and turn up your spirit so that you could hear from God because it's our spirit that connects and hears from God. And four, just seek him. Be relentless with wanting to hear from God. Don't just pray for a day or for a week and say, eh, I'd rather ask my friend's opinion on you know what they think about my situation. Be relentless. You want to have that heart posture that God your voice matters to me more than a YouTube sermon. Your voice matters more to me than a pastor or my best friend. There is no one else I care to hear more from than you. That is not words that you say, that is a heart posture. If recently you have been praying for something every day, I want to ask you a question. Have you been this excited about getting alone with God and talking with him when you don't have a need at all? Or are most of your strongest prayers when you need or want something? God cares about intimacy. When you feel God is not listening, when you feel God is silent, the key is don't stop. Keep pressing. Even in the silence, God is working. The silence is only temporary. I need you to know you are not delayed. You are not ignored. You are not put off. He has heard every prayer. He has caught every tear. And at just the right time, he will bring you into what he has already prepared. He is not just preparing the blessing for you. He is preparing you for the blessing. For many years, God wanted to get the children of Israel into the promised land. And it wasn't that the promised land didn't exist yet. It wasn't that God didn't have it prepared. It was that they weren't prepared yet. God's silence is not his absence. 
He is working behind the scenes even when you can't see it. Just like me cleaning behind the toilet, I could guarantee God is trying to clean up parts of you that you cannot see right on the surface. I could guarantee God is trying to develop something that is underdeveloped in you right now. Trust that your breakthrough is closer than you think. Now, I really want to challenge you. Take a moment after this video instead of just watching another video or carrying on reflect how have you truly been handling this silent season bring your emotions to god tell him exactly how you feel maybe spend tomorrow fasting set aside time to spend with god without asking for anything just deepen your relationship with him i actually wrote out a prayer that i think is excellent to declare out loud to god so feel free to repeat this heavenly father thank you that you are a good father please forgive me for not trusting you i believe you care about me and the decisions i make i believe you love me and died for me i am choosing not to worry I choose to accept your peace. I choose to accept your joy. I choose to trust you. You see me and you love me. And you have not even for a second forsaken me. So I thank you in Jesus name, amen. I'm Brianna from Self Love Starts Now and I love you. Bye.